Hi, Betty Walker here, the Wise Web Lady, and I'm going to show you how to put a premium content graphic on your Wishlist member website. Now you'll notice on the Insider Wishlist Products website, what they've done on the, on the home page is they have a graphic here that lets you know that this post is available to Wishlist members only. Some of them have that graphic letting you know that, and there are a few of them that do not, that these are available for free for people who are non-members, so anyone visiting the site would be able to read these certain posts. But the ones that are member-only content, these act as a great teaser for someone visiting the site to let them know that there is some really great content inside if you join and become a member. Now we've done the same thing on a client site, nextforsmallbusiness.com, and you'll see here we have the same similar thing. We have a graphic that shows letting people who visit the site know which content is available to members only and then which content is available for anyone visiting that would be free content. So this gives them a little bit of a teaser on what the content is that's available to members only and that hopefully will entice them to go ahead and become a member. Now the way that we accomplish that is that we are using the wishlist member API. Now API is Application Programming Interface and that is something that uh, the Wishlist member folks have, have made available to programmers that you can go ahead and do some custom programming and you can interface to be able to get to some of the data that's within Wishlist member and display it in custom ways that you may want to do for your, for your member websites. There's documentation that comes with it. There's application programming interface and there are different, there are many different functions within this where you can access information that is within Wishlist Member and use it in many different ways. If you don't have documentation for this, you can go ahead and put through a support ticket with Wishlist Member and they will go ahead and send you the documentation for it. What this uses is something within your Wishlist Member plugin. It's within the subfolder core, C-O-R-E. You should see in there there's a program called API.php. That is the application programming interface that they have supplied. And that's where all the functions are that are listed in here that we can go ahead and pull in content. Now if we go down into the post functions, there's many different ways and many different information you can pull in from here. So there's some really great things in here if you want to go ahead and get that documentation from them. And you can read through the different things you can do. And if you are a PHP programmer, you would be able to go ahead and customize your, your templates and your sites using these. The one that we use for this is we are using the get post level. And you'll see that what that function does is it retrieves the membership levels that have access to a particular post. So what we did within Next for Small Business is we went into the template area for that site You'll see here it's went in the WP content themes and then within our template or our theme for that site and we went to the archive.php file. And it's going to be a little bit different on everybody's uh, archive.php depending on what your theme, what your template is set up like. Ours was down somewhere at around line 233 here, you'll see it. And what we did is we added the code right after our post would display, which is here. You'll see that information that's in here. And then what we did is we added a few more lines here that would go out and check for each of the posts that it loops through here. If this post is premium content, then go ahead and display the special members only graphic that's here. So this is the code that we added right here into the archive. And you'll see that over here on the documentation how it is that you can call that. So this is the full actual call for it. We put in an if statement in here and just check to see if in the array for this post, if premium member is in there, then yes, go ahead and display that graphic that's on there. So that gives you a little bit of information on how you can do that. Once you put that information in there, you can go ahead and have a graphic that will show on your post just for the members only for your premium content. Again, this is Betty Walker, the Wise Web Lady, and I hope this has helped you in making even better wishless member websites.